Anyone who's had a migraine knows how debilitating they can be. Up to 12% of the population reportedly suffers from migraine headaches. So how do you know if you're one of them? I'll review five symptoms and features of migraines, a condition that can often be managed at home without a prescription. And in my next video, I'll review how to treat it on your own. Well, what's up, healthy people? I'm Dr. Maj, the practicing family medicine physician, here to help save the busy person an unnecessary visit to the doctor. Make sure to subscribe for more home treatment strategies for common medical conditions for you and your family. Here we go. Tip number one. Migraines are often described as being throbbing, pulsating, or pounding in quality. Most people experience them on one side of the head at a time, but not always. They are often severe, enough that they interfere with daily activity and are sometimes debilitating. Tip number two, exacerbating factors. Now most people with migraines suffer from light or sound sensitivity or both. Many people say that they need to enclose themselves in a dark, quiet room and sleeping it off sometimes provides relief. Tip number three, nausea and vomiting. Poor things, almost all migraine sufferers will suffer from nausea. Less frequently, it's severe enough to cause vomiting, but that certainly does occur in some patients. Tip number four, there's often a family history. Mom, dad, sibling, or a grandparent will suffer from them if you dig in. It occurs in both men and women, but women are three times more likely to get them. And lastly, tip number five, preceding auras. What is an aura? Well, it's a neurologic symptom that occurs prior to the onset of the headache. Most of them are visual, such as seeing zigzag lines or flashing lights or even geometric shapes across the visual field. These auras often last about five minutes on average, but most migraine sufferers do not experience any auras. Now, if you suffer from migraines, have you been able to discern a trigger? Share it with us in the comments down below. I'll be reviewing the treatment and the prevention of them in my next video, so make sure to check that out. Now, if you found the information here useful, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and share it with someone else who may find it useful. And don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down there and that bell that's next to it in order to learn more useful, actionable health tips for the busy person who can't always make it to the doctor's office. I'll also place a link to my website and social media channels in the description for this video down below. Now please note that all content presented is for informational purposes only. It's not specific medical advice and you should always seek a licensed physician in your area for all health related concerns. Well thanks for tuning in, stay headache free and I'll catch you next time.